I'm Richard Axelby, I'm an anthropologist and I work at SOAS as part of the Global Research Network on Parliaments and People. I'm also the Chief Returning Officer of the Living Democracy Exhibition. One of the things I'm really interested in is elections. I just find them fascinating, you know, the sort of the uh, noise and the tumult and that sense of of uncertainty, no one knows how it's going to go, so all identities are sort of fluid, and statuses are, are not determined. So I love that sense of all the people that sort of go and queue at ballot boxes or go to vote and uh, will spend the day making de decisions that are going to affect the next four or five years. And I've, I've followed those in India and I've followed them also in the UK. And one of the things I always think about elections is when you get to the ballot box and you cast your vote, you go, you take all these different feelings with you, you take all these different hopes and all these different fears uh, and all these uh, different ideas about the candidates or about the parties they belong to or about the policies that they're going to enact. And then you have to make a decision. And those decisions are very simple decisions. They're quite often a binary decision. A vote for yes or no, remain or leave, or to vote for this candidate instead of another candidate. So we wanted to sort of reflect that in our exhibition and we asked a series of questions at the end of the exhibition. We ask um, questions like, are all politicians the same? Have you ever visited Parliament? Do traditional parliamentary rituals undermine democratic participation? And finally, who gets to decide the answers to these questions? We ask these questions and we ask people to vote on them. So you have the option to vote at the end of the exhibition. Everyone can have a vote, but it's always this very binary, simple yes, no type questions, which can be really frustrating because you don't get to explain why you feel that all politicians are the same or not all the same. You don't get to say anything about why you've never visited your parliament. Uh, you don't get to say why you feel that traditional rituals are good for democratic participation or bad for democratic participation. You either vote yes or no. And in a normal election, it's up to politicians. Once the voters have made their, their choice, it's then up to politicians to interpret what that choice actually means, to go into the parliament and try their best to sort of reflect their voters' uh, beliefs and uh, wishes. But we've done something slightly different because we're encouraging you, when you vote, we're also encouraging you to spoil your ballot paper. So you come in here, you can vote in a normal way, but also maybe you want to write a poem or do a drawing or say something about uh, words of encouragement or hope or fear. Yes, I'm not my major being a So do come along to the Living Democracy exhibition and at the end of the exhibition you can vote count the votes and we'll show some of the best uh, creative contributions to those votes.